Okay, ladies and gents of Tribe Forex, this is Marcello here. It's April 25th, 2016, and uh, I'm going to be quick about this. Uh, Euro dollar, you know, Euro dollars, you can see it's in a consolidation, so we're looking for a sell here. Uh, the euro is still weak. <clears throat> the dollar is still strengthened against it anyway, and so that's what we're going to look for there. The dollar Swiss, um, you can see that we've got a an apex formation here, so from a uh, technical standpoint, it could really go either way. But if we turn to the weekly chart, we can see that we closed above the apex and, and we're above the 50% fib area. We're going to use that particular point as a bounce point, looking for an upward move here. So from a technical standpoint, we're looking for a buy here on the dollar Swiss at 96.70. Um, and so that's where uh, we're looking for a buy here. That's our sentiment there. Now here's interesting on the pound dollar. The pound dollar is... Um, the pound dollar is actually at a support zone on its in its pennant here. If you look at the monthly chart, and it continues to move forward. Now it's above some key support. Um, pod B strong, and I think it's the pod one strong as well. And so we're going to look for price to continue to move up here on the pound dollar, on the on the pound dollar here. Aussie dollar, kind of same thing. We kind of broke through some zones here of support. Of resistance sorry and now we're gonna look for support to be formed here uh, for what we can tell based upon the weekly chart and now we're looking back at the monthly we were at the bottom of our support zone we're at the bottom of our support zone um, and we bounce off of it on the on the pennant so let's continue to move forward here on the Aussie dollar we're gonna have a buy sentiment there as well New Zealand dollar not so much uh, we're actually still within the consolidation zone and so it's a neutral kind of bias. I mean, we're at the bottom of, of bouncing off of a trend line here that is very, very strong. It's very, very uh, established, if you will. But we're going to continue to look for a buy moving forward. I'm sorry, we would be looking for a buy from the bottom here, but we're actually going to probably just play it neutral here on the New Zealand dollar. And uh, although we're at you know above a lot of support, a lot of support here. We're just going to wait and see what the market does here on the New Zealand dollar because it is ambiguous. Now. Talking about the yen pairs. Now, the yen pairs are exciting. Um, all of the yen pairs, we'd be looking for yen weakness. Okay, the Bank of Japan does not want to have a strengthening of the yen. And so what we're going to look forward to is uh, we're going to look forward to some potential, uh, you know, easing or, you know, some form of intervention by the, the, uh, by the Bank, of, Bank of Japan. And in such, we're looking for a buy, and also of our technicals are in line with that. So if you look at the dollar yen here, we've got a reversal candle that seems to be forming. We had this, uh, what looks like a, a, a morning star pattern that's formed. Um, and we're going to be looking for that to continue to move forward. This is also a triple threat formation for us um, at Tribe Forex. So we're going to look for price to continue to move up here. So we've got a buy bias on the dollar yen. We got a buy bias on the pound yen, which looked like, like it bounced off of the 23.6 fib area, and the pod be strongest on the monthly chart. And we're going to look for price to continue to move up there on the on pound yen as well, specifically because the pound is strengthening and the yen is weakening. So that's a very good pair for us to look at. Euro yen, we're also going to be looking for a buy. There's a lot of a lot of opportunity here. It bounced off the 38.2 fib here, which is expected, and. Um, you know, it just looks like it's got plenty of room to move up even into before it hits resistant, the resistance area. So we're going to look for that on the euro yen here. So buy there as well. And I'd like to actually add another pair, uh, which is the CAD, CAD yen. Because the CAD is, because of everything that's happening in oil right now, the CAD has been really strengthening. Um, you know, we can see it strengthening against the dollar. We'll talk about that in a second. And, you know, just the yen weakening. So just the, the pairing of those two, Currencies is just perfect right now. The strengthening of the CAD, the weakening of the yen. This is probably our best bet. We have a technically we have a breakout of the zone here, of this consolidation zone here um, on the CAD yen, and it's above that zone. And so we can look from above 86, 80, uh, 86 90, uh for price to be able to move forward. So it's like just cross through very strong resistance, and now that resistance is support. We can look at 8690, um, 8700 for a buy on the CAD yen and to move uh, forward here. All right, and so we have the dollar CAD as well. The dollar CAD continues to move down. So if you look at the monthly chart here, 
you just see sell like really just you can't beat that that's a trend you know we had this beautiful reversal candle at 14700 1.4700 and then just precipitous drop here on the dollar cad as the cad strengthens so you know we're just going to continue to look for that we're uh, currently below areas of support resistance at the pod be stronger and horizontal support that was support it's no longer support it's now potentially going to be resistance here and uh yeah so we're going to look for 127.50 to be resistance and uh, just continue to move down here on the dollar cad so we have a sell bias on the dollar cad guys those are our trades happy trading we'll talk to you i think we're going to do well here this week bye-bye